Hello guys and today I'm going to show you a complete gaming setup for $1000 including the PC and all its accessories. So without any further ado, let's get started. So building a gaming setup from scratch can be very expensive and it's difficult to find the right equipment for your gaming needs especially if you're on a tighter budget. In this video, we have a rather budget or starting setup which can be great if you're starting off and want something with excellent value. This entire setup includes the PC as well as the monitor, headset, keyboard and mouse and mouse pad which are all the necessary things required for a gaming setup for $1000 and you may even be able to get all of these for cheaper if you buy it on sale. The links for all the accessories and the PC are down below in the description so feel free to check it out if you're interested. Firstly, let's look into the main star and centerpiece of any setup which is the PC. In this setup, we are using a pre-built PC which is probably the best way you can start off your gaming journey if you don't want to get technical. The pre-built PC used here is the Skytech Nebula which comes in at $850 and is one of the best value pre-built PCs right now on Amazon. The specs of the PC include an Intel Core i5-13400F CPU, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, a 1TB NVMe SSD and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU. These are really great specs and I've made a whole separate video on this PC where we go into much more detail so if you want a more in-depth review on it, you can check that out as well. In short, this PC has specs capable of playing games at 1440p with high settings and is a great choice for gaming, editing and even streaming. After the PC comes the monitor. The monitor used in this setup is the AOC 24-inch gaming monitor and is priced at $110. The monitor has a 24-inch 180Hz Full HD IPS panel with a 1ms MPRT response time. At 180Hz, this panel feels extremely smooth to use and came on with some light ghosting which you'll probably notice if you've previously used a high-end gaming monitor. The 1ms response time also only works with backlight strobing which decreases the brightness and some people's eyes can hurt when using it for a long time in that mode. Still, the colors and viewing angles are all good and are great for this budget. The port I.O. includes a HDMI 2.0 port, a DisplayPort 1.4 port and an audio output. This is a basic port I.O. and works for most users. The headset used here is the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 Core which is priced at $30. The HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 Core is a wired headset with a 2 meter wire and a 3.5mm audio jack. This headset has great spatial audio and in gaming it's very important as you need to clearly hear the footstep of enemies and even in day-to-day -day use, having good audio can make a big difference. The microphone is also very good and you can also mute the mic from the headset easily by just flipping it up. You can also change the cushions around your ear if they get wet down and the cushions themselves are soft and heavily padded. The mouse that we've gone for is a Logitech G305 wireless gaming mouse which is priced at $34. The Logitech G305 can be considered a cheaper version of the Logitech G Pro Wireless with a different smaller design. The weight of the mouse is under 100 grams which is decently light for a gaming mouse that uses an external AA battery. The mouse can be connected via a USB receiver and has an accurate sensor and great feel in the hand. The keyboard here is a unique choice and is the Mage G mechanical keyboard which is priced at $30. The keyboard is a 65% mechanical keyboard and is a plug and play keyboard without external software. It connects with a detachable USB Type-C cable and has simple RGB lights without much customization. There are three types of switches you can choose with the keyboard including red, blue and brown switches. All the keys have a tactile feedback and is a great proper mechanical keyboard on a budget. The mousepad is a budget Logitech mousepad which is around $10. The mousepad's dimensions are 20cm by 23cm which is decently big, offers a good glide and has a simple look which doesn't detract from the overall look of the setup. In conclusion, I feel like this is a really good setup if you have a budget of around $1000. Overall, all the products here come out at around $1000 with the Skytech Nebula PC coming in at $850 which takes up most of the budget the AOC monitor which comes in at $110, the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 Core that comes in at $30, the Logitech G305 mouse comes at $34, the Mage G keyboard comes at $30 and the Logitech mouse pad comes at $10 with the final price coming in at $1063 at the time of recording this video and the prices of the accessories and PC shown in this video can go up and down depending on what sale is currently running. 
Overall, if you want a complete setup for your gaming needs, this is a good option to consider. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.